Well, I just added seafoam to my X585, and um, I did so by removing the air cleaner. I cleaned that out while I was at it, blew, just blew all the debris out of there. And uh, with the tractor running, maybe at about half throttle, I poured some seafoam in to the uh, intake there. I've let it sit for about 10 minutes, and I'm just now getting ready to start it up, and we'll uh, see what happens. I'm expecting a lot of smoke. Not really having any issues. I just it's I've been putting seafoam in my other engines lately, and just uh, getting out a bunch of stuff uh, as far as my my other equipment, just cleaning it up, cleaning out carbs and things like that, and. Uh, since I was running seafoam th through some of my other stuff, I decided to go ahead and do it on the John Deere. I haven't had any issues, but um, decided to do it anyhow. So I'm just getting ready to start it up. We'll watch for the smoke. If it starts. After doing the sea foam, it's normal to have a lot of smoke, and they say just uh, let it run, and uh, it'll clear up. Woo! It's sitting in close to half throttle right now. I'm just going to run it a second before I really open it up. The tractor's got close to 900 hours on it now, and I've just done regular maintenance on it. Can't, I really don't have any complaints. Every once in a while, I think that it might run rough for a few seconds, but overall it's fine. So I just, I really just put this in to see if I notice any difference. I mean, it didn't really have any true problems before, but um, just wanted to see what would happen if I noticed the difference in how it runs afterwards. Now, I know it's going to take a while, but uh, this is at least the first step. I'm going to increase the throttle. I'm at about three-fourths throttle right now. I'm going to go ahead and move it up all the way.